Finding lost menus in Blender. Sometimes when you load up a model in Blender, things look different. The menus are gone or moved to strange places. All the workspaces have different names. <laughs> Settings to do this are apparently stored in Blend files. So if you load up a file from someone who changes all these things, you have to find where they all went. If you reach up to use the menu one day and it's gone, there's no file, edit, etc. up here. There are two ways to bring it back. The blender icon in the left hand edge of the menu changes into this three bar icon. And when you click on it, the menu items appear as a drop down. So you can drop down file and open another file or create a new one or whatever. So the menu is there. It's just hidden under this uh, this three bar icon. And that's kind of a popular new way of hiding menus in modern application programs. Also, I assume that the kind of person who memorizes 100 shortcut keys in Blender probably figures he doesn't need to use a menu anymore so he can hide it away. The other way to get the main menu back is to right click on an empty space in the menu bar. This little drop down appears and lets you show the menus again and that moves the menus back onto the menu bar, hence the name. I suppose there are people who have so many different workspaces that they, they wish that they had a little bit more room and they hide the menu away like that. I made several videos recently on how to select things and I showed you how to use the tool settings in the top of the 3D viewport. But one day I looked up there to use them and they were gone. The header of the 3D viewport, which is normally two lines of menus up here, was only one and one of them was missing. I was actually lost for weeks. I had to figure out that those same select modes were available in the tool page of the end panel and I had to use them over here because I couldn't figure out where the extra tool bar went. But eventually I learned that if you put the cursor into empty spaces on the menu and you right click it, you get this header drop down that allows you to turn the tool settings back on again. And now there are the tool settings in the normal location and I'm happy to have them back there for several reasons. Another option in that header dropdown allows you to turn off the menu. Oh, if I turn it off, will I be able to turn it back on again? Let's try it. Show menus. Well, it doesn't actually um, turn the menu off. It just turns it into one of these three bar uh, drop down uh, menus instead of the horizontal menus. And I think we should all get used to seeing those uh, three bar icons and clicking on them in, in Windows programs. Another option in this header drop down is flip to bottom. It allows you to flip the, the menu or the tool settings down to the bottom of the, uh, the 3D viewport instead of the top. I recommend that you would typically want to flip both of them down because when you're using the select tools, the select modes and the select types are still real close to each other and it's easy to switch back and forth between uh, how you select things and what kind of things you're selecting. The final option in this header dropdown is to show or to not show the header at all. And when the header is gone, how do you click on one of those little teeny tiny spaces in the header to get it back again because you don't have a, a menu to click on. But this little tiny, teeny tiny carrot arrow appears. And if you left click on that, the header comes back again. And of course, that little arrow is sometimes at the top and sometimes at the bottom, depending on where the menu was last. I also made a video here about how useful the status bar is. 
It turns out that you can, if you reach for that little carrot arrow and you miss, you can grab the top of the status bar and drag it down and it goes away. So if you want to use all that uh, screen space the status bar is wasting, if you want to use it for, for modeling, you can get rid of it and then you can grab the bottom of the window and drag it up to, with the uh, left mouse button to uh, get the status bar back again. I am not going to get into the workspaces across the top here, but uh, you will notice them changing a lot because uh, uh, some people rename them, delete them, and make new ones, and so they often look different. All the tools I just showed you for making the, the menus come back when they're lost also allows you to make them disappear if you are, are so inclined to do so. And as a matter of fact, I recommend that, uh, that as your homework assignment, you make all of these different parts of the user interface disappear and get them back again so that when they accidentally go away on you, you'll remember that there's a way to get them back again.